Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. Mm. Sunday, March 8th, and daylight savings has started. Forgot all about it. Woke up and thought I was, I slept in pretty good. I was like, man, I must have been tired. No, it wasn't the case. It was just daylight savings and the clocks went ahead and I forgot about it. So it took me a second to kind of realize. I was kind of trying to rush around the house a little bit because I wanted to get on, get moving, but I mean, Whatever. I don't have much else to do today. But uh, at any rate, it's, I'm gonna go for a hike. Um, got a new park. It's a uh, Fountainhead Regional Park. Is where I'm at. I'm not far from the house. Actually, it's only like 20 minutes. So I found a website a hiking project um, sponsored by uh, or managed by REI. It's pretty cool. It's almost like the onyx of the hiking world, if you will. It's got, uh, you can go on there and it has all the trails that are in, you know, wherever, you can, the whole country, but you can, has all these trails highlighted and tells you whether they're, um, you know, easy, intermediate, difficult, whatever it is, it gives you the distances and the elevation gain, the loss and grade, all the different things about the, uh, the trail and you can use put your cursor over the trail and, and it'll give you some like a little blur when you click on it, it opens it up and you can look at it but I've been messing with that the last couple weeks and trying to find uh, some good some good uh, trails that I can check out so I found this one here it's um, a system of trails but there's one trail that's like 17 miles long I think um, I'm gonna try and get on that one. I'm not gonna do 17 miles, but I'd like to try do a longer hike. I've been doing like five mile hikes on these last couple, and uh, I like to try and push it out a little bit farther. I'm just gonna do an out and back on this on this trail. There's a couple loops on this trail that, uh, that you can do, but I think I'm just gonna try this one out and back type of thing. So that should be pretty good. Um, I didn't get out last weekend. I uh, went home for the weekend and flew back to Florida. Our oldest dog. If any of you have been following along, you'll know that our oldest dog lost her fight, um, and we had to uh, say goodbye to her. So that was that was pretty difficult. Um, still, still a little bit of an emotional struggle, to be honest with you. I wrote a blog last night and talking about that, and I'm gonna get that up on the website. You'll see that by the time this comes out. But uh, that was difficult to, to sit and do been about a week and a half now and uh, finally I was in a place where I felt that I could write about it but at any rate uh, I went home spent some time with uh, my wife and daughter and hugged on the other two dogs so that was good gonna get out here in the in the wilds I <clears throat> spent yesterday taking care of some errands and running around doing some stuff and today is a relaxation day exercise explore and see what I see it's chilly out it's supposed to warm up pretty good though so it's 34 degrees right now at 9 o'clock in the morning and we're saying probably get up in the 50s here today so we'll see how that works out but uh, excited to get out and do some wandering around so I guess I better go get busy packing up my stuff here and getting on the road or on the trail I should say so See you on the trail. So far, this hike has uh, proven to be pretty good. Uh, I'm only less than a mile in, but it's pretty nice. I got some uh, a little creek right here behind me. See, runs back to the dock, way well, fishing pier, I guess you could call it, way back there. Some people fishing this morning. See a bunch of squirrels with tons of birds out this morning. I thought I heard some deer moving around, but I couldn't get a look on them with the binoculars. But yeah, I mean, it's proven to be pretty nice. I walked down along this stream here just to check it out, see if there's any tracks or anything. It's not. It? 
um, some, uh, looks like an old scrape, maybe. I, that's what it looks like, at least. It's hard to tell because it's pretty, pretty run down. But, uh, yeah, no rubs or anything down here. It's a nice little flat down here that I was hoping maybe find some sign or something. Maybe find some birds on the water. There's a big old flock of seagulls out there. But this is beautiful. This is, so far, this trail is really nice. My favorite so far. And I'm the initial first mile of the hike. So, yeah, can't complain. If the rest of the trail is like this, this is going to be nice. So I might have to come back out and do this again. Or at least do the other half of this trail that I'm not going to do today. Go up the other side and hit it up. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Can't tell me that's not an awesome view. This is definitely a spot I could come sit and just listen to the water running over those rocks. Read a book or just take a nap. Definitely nice out here. Found this little tree here to stop and sit on. Drink some, drink some water. Change out my lenses, I think. I got my uh, 55 to 200. I think I'm just gonna throw that on the uh, my old Canon here. I bought a little pack strap. It has a base on it here. You can just strap it to your um, pack strap, and first time I've been able to use it. Pretty handy. But I keep forgetting, I mean, the GoPro is fairly new, so I keep for, gotta remind myself to use that for the walking around video. And I can just leave this lens on the camera for getting some better shots of wildlife and whatnot. Throw that on there. Always use this little this little lens is a 15 to 45, but uh, for doing the vlog stuff. But and you know, when you're out moving around like this, trying to swap out lenses, you know, especially when it's in your pack, it's not exactly convenient. So having this GoPro makes it a whole lot more handy. That's for sure. pepperoni sticks. You guys remember me and Chris making these. So good. It's that uh, high mount seasoning. Pretty good. And cuties. I've seen a bunch of people out here today. <clears throat> A lot of mountain bikers. It seems to be a pretty big thing out here. I see a lot of them. A bunch of people hiking. People with their dogs. Wish I had my dog out here to hike around. Wish I had my girls out here to hike around too. I don't mind hiking alone. It's pretty peaceful. Especially right now there's no one walking by. See here and just relax, think, listen to the birds. I don't know if the squirrels like cutie rinds. Girls are coming up next weekend, <clears throat> spring break. So uh, daughter has a week off at school. My wife and daughter are gonna fly up Saturday, bring them out on Sunday for a hike. I'm actually thinking now, since I like this trail so much, I might bring them out here, go to the other side, see what that looks like. It'd be nice having them up here for the week. Still got to go to work, but be a lot better coming back to the house and having some company. <laughs> I better get on the trail. I've got a bunch more miles to do. The problem with going downhill on an out and back 
hike. So you gotta go back uphill. <laughs> oh, coming down on some water here. Nice. Well, if that's not concerning, I think I'm advanced. We'll see what this advance is all about. Hmm. If you don't hear from me in like an hour, you'll know. Found this little cemetery on the trail. Pretty cool. 1851 to 1918. One right here. I don't know if this is a newer stone. It probably replaced an old one. That's pretty, pretty neat. Revolutionary War. It wasn't very old. Hmm. I always think these these things are pretty neat. Just you know, the history that you know. And it's good this isn't forgotten. 1886 to 1918. Yeah, pretty cool. I always like finding little things like this you know, out in the woods. It's you know, just forgotten about. You know, it looks like somebody's been keeping an eye on it. <clears throat> more history for you a wagon route it says I don't know if I'd want to be taking a wagon up and down this hill that might be a little bit of a bumpy rough ride coming up through here yeah I don't know about that <laughs> but a lot of history around here you know it's kind of the cool thing about being in Northern Virginia so much history. Get out here and see it all. And you weren't you weren't out here. You'd never even know that was there. No idea that you're on an old wagon trail. I'm sure it looked a lot different, you know, a couple hundred years ago than it does now. But still, it's when you get out here and see all this history. It's like that cemetery and. Seeing that sign just makes you think, I always think, you know, reflect back and wonder what it was like, you know, riding a wagon up this trail or whatever. Uh, cool. Well, it's about four and a quarter miles in. Stopped and taking a break and I'm going to turn around and head back to the truck. It's about 11.30. Well, I don't know, almost noon, I guess. Get a little something to eat. Got my cliff bar. Eat that. I had another little pepperoni stick. Drink some water. Head on back. It's a pretty good hike. I'll be a little over eight miles by the time I get back to the truck. So, I'm probably going to feel this tomorrow. It'll be the longest hike I've done in a while. But that's good. Gotta get in shape. This is nothing compared to September in Oregon. Hopefully that works out. Chris and I are... I didn't get drawn for Arizona. So Chris and I are working on some details to try and get to September sometime. Do a archery elk hunt out there. That would be pretty cool to be able to do that. But 
definitely would be physically demanding. So we're going to uh, have to get in shape. He's recovering from his knee surgery, so he's got a long road ahead of him. But he's the bionic man, so I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be hiking circles around me by September, as usual. But, uh, yeah. I was going to keep getting out here on the weekends doing this. <clears throat> I need to get my butt in gear and start running more. I haven't been running enough at all. You know, not enough to really count for much of anything, I guess. I guess it's better than not doing anything, but... At any rate, I need to get my butt in gear and get my cardio going. Hiking's not going to be enough. It's good for the, uh, the hiking muscles, but... Definitely need to do more. At any rate, I guess I should... Uh, Get walking. I got a couple hour hike back to the truck. See you back on the trail. Well, I got about a mile left. Got a big downhill here. I can see. mountain biker down there but yeah I'm going down here and then I go back up the hill I'm just about there but uh yeah I'm just a little over seven miles right now so I just got about a mile left and then I'll be back in the truck fire somewhere it's a little hazy and I can smell a lot of good wood smoke but this has definitely been a great day needed this. I'm gonna pay for this tomorrow. <laughs> I can feel it already. My foot. A little sore. That's alright. It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Except for bears. Bears will kill you. But yeah, this is just enjoyable. It's beautiful back here. This is phenomenal country back here. Some good hill country. trip back I've done a lot of video on the way back or pictures really um, I'm just kind of hoofing it pretty quick kind of get a good straight back hike you know and not stopping see how I do on the time I mean, even with stopping and getting distracted and getting some snacks and stuff uh, it's a pretty good time so yeah. Take a look at this. You can't tell me this isn't beautiful. If you do, we can't be friends. No, nah, just kidding. We can be friends. Maybe. But yeah, this is... This is why I come out here. Commune with nature. Just seeing so many people out here. Biking, hiking, running. I don't know that I would want to run these trails. <laughs> I think those days of doing that kind of stuff is over. But yeah, uh, nice little public, you know, park, a little regional park, and I mean, it doesn't cost anything. It's kind of surprising. I think there's not like an entry fee, but I mean, this is dollars at work here, conservation dollars at work. We need more of these places. We need to protect the ones that are here. Because it can go away quick. It'd be a great place to do some deer hunting. But yeah. I'm blessed today. Truly blessed. So. Well, I'll see you back at the truck. Eight miles, exactly. It's pretty impressive. <sighs> That's a good hike. I'm gonna get all this stuff off. Put it away here. Drink some water. 
Well, back at the truck. That was a good hike. Uh, eight miles exactly, which was kind of funny. Was it three, three and a half hours? Yeah, it was good. Uh, the, didn't really do much pictures and video on the way back. Um, I just wanted to kind of just push. I didn't really stop. A couple times I stopped, but really just kind of from that halfway point where I stopped and took a rest, I just cruised back. It took me about an hour and a half, I guess, to get back, which is pretty good for a little under four miles. I guess. Yeah, just a little under four miles. Three and three and three quarters of miles. So not bad. I'm already a little sore. I'm definitely going to feel this in the morning. I can tell you that. There is a ton of people here in this parking lot. I saw a lot of people on the trail as I got closer to the parking lot. People just doing the short little hikes, you know, with their uh, families. Yeah, it's great seeing all these people out here. People on their bikes, people with their dogs and their kids and all kinds of stuff. So definitely very cool. Yeah, had a great time and uh, now I'm going to go back to the house and get showered up, put my stuff away and then uh, I guess I got some video content I need to edit. But great Sunday. This was definitely a, a needed adventure and uh, enjoyed this. This was a beautiful, beautiful trail. I'm going to have to come back and check out the rest of this trail since I only did a small portion of it. So I'll be back and uh check it all out thanks for following along in this vlog series hope you guys are enjoying it um if you haven't checked out the other stuff make sure you go back and check it out uh make sure if you're not already follow us on facebook and follow us on instagram we got a lot of stuff we're putting up there on daily if you want to check it out go over there and follow and like and subscribe and all those things Make sure you hit that subscribe button on here too on YouTube. We'd appreciate you guys sticking around and following along with us. So as always, thanks and uh, we'll see you on the next one.